The Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO will conduct the first unmanned flight test vehicle abort mission 1 or TVD1 test for the Gaganyaan mission on October 21 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. In this video, we will examine the mission's technical aspects including the spacecraft, launch vehicle and upcoming test missions and their significance for the Gaganyaan's development. But before we do that, if you're watching this on YouTube, do remember to like, share and subscribe. To start off, what is Gaganyaan mission? Gaganyaan is India's ambitious plan to demonstrate its human spaceflight capability. It aims to send a crew of three members to 400 km orbit for a three-day mission, ultimately returning them safely to Earth with landing in Indian sea waters. But how do you do that? You do that by sending the astronauts in orbital module or OM that will be orbiting Earth. The orbital module comprises a crew module, CM and service module, SM. The crew module provides an Earth-like environment for the crew and houses life support, avionics and deceleration systems. The service module supports the CM, that is the crew module, in orbit and contains systems for propulsion, power, thermal control, avionics and development mechanisms. To transport the crew safely to space, India has developed human-related launch vehicle, the HLVM-3 rocket. It is equipped with a crew escape system or CES that can quickly move the crew module to safety in emergencies. The astronaut selected for the mission have underwent mission-specific training in India and general spacefaring training in Russia consisting of around 218 lectures and 75 physical training sessions. So let's talk about the test missions. Why this is important? Because before the human crewed mission, a series of missions will be conducted to ensure technology readiness. These will include integrated airdrop test or IADT, pad abort test or PAT and test vehicle flights or TB flights. All these systems will undergo thorough testing in untrued missions to validate their safety and reliability. Only then, a crewed mission will take place. So, ISRO plans two test vehicle missions to demonstrate the crew escape systems or CES and retrieve the crew module post the splashdown. Depending on the success of these tests, the first untrued Gaganyaan mission and unpressurized crew module will follow. So, here in comes the TVD1 test which is happening on October 21. This test involves the launch of crew module using the LVM-3 rocket. The crew module unpressurized for this test will test the efficacy of the capsule and its emergency escape system, followed by module recovery after splashdown in the Bay of Bengal. The Indian Navy will then spearhead the module's recovery post splashdown. So why is the TVD-1 test important? The TVD-1 test is vital for Gaganyaan's development. It enables testing the crew module at 17 km, a height unreachable by conventional helicopters or flights. Only after two successful uncrewed flights will astronauts be sent under Gaganya. Currently, the final manned mission is targeted for 2025. We will update you on the mission's progress. Keep watching this space.